Hey guys, it's Samantha from Top Dog Tips and I have a really innovative and exciting product to show you guys this week. Um, I have been so impressed with this product and I am just really excited to share it with you guys. I've already told so many people about it. Uh, very rarely do I get this excited about a dog product. Um, it is my job to review these types of products so obviously uh, a lot of things come across my desk and um, I've just never seen anything like this. It's very unique and again it's so innovative and it's very versatile. So I'm going to jump right into it. You can see it here. It's called the Chill Spot. Um, of course, if you read my columns or you follow my reviews, you know that I'm from Maine. So you're probably wondering why I would be talking to you about a product that cools off your dog in the end of at the end of February uh, when I live in Maine. Um, I had every intention of leaving this product in the box and letting it sit until the weather warmed up a little bit. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to um, force my dogs to use anything and I didn't think they would willingly want to use a product that cools their body off if it wasn't hot outside. Um, and then uh, as it sat in the box, I realized that we heat our home with a wood stove. And uh, if you've ever used a wood stove, you know that the heat from wood stove is much different than any other kind of heat. It's different than a furnace. It's different than propane uh, heaters. It is a very warm, dry heat. Uh, when it gets to be 68 or 70 degrees in our house, uh, our dogs get hot. They get warm. They start panting. Um, usually we put the ceiling fans on in the living room. We have two ceiling fans that we turn on and they lay on the couch or on their dog bed and uh, they lay under the ceiling fans and they're fine. Um, so I had never really thought about anything being too hot for them in the wintertime, but uh, after the chill spot came, I kind of put two and two together, and I thought, well, I'll lay it out for them and see what happens, and they love it. They use it all the time, um, especially our lab. And I think the reason for that is because she has a double coat, so I think she gets uh, warmer faster than our boxer, who's a short-haired dog um, and doesn't have the double coat, so I don't think she gets hot quite as quickly. Um, but both dogs use it, particularly our lab. Both dogs seem to really enjoy it. Uh, I have been so impressed with this. Um, so I'm going to run down the basics of it for you, and it, it's so simple. It's such an innovative product, but just the simplest design, which I love. Um, so this is the base, which is essentially, you can think of it as a cooler. Uh, and then you have this top piece that it does come completely off, but uh, for this review, I'm just going to pick it up like this. This is made out of aluminum. Aluminum is the third most conductive metal in the world, so it conducts the uh, coolness very well. And then inside of this slides in this... Um, it's an ice pack, essentially. They call it a chill pod. Um, so the chill pod you can put in your freezer for um, overnight until uh, the morning. And in the morning, you just take it out of the freezer. You open up your chill spot, slide it in like that, put the top down, and that's literally it. That's all there is to this product. It's super simple. Um, it's fairly lightweight. You can my phone um, it's super lightweight you can lift it up really easily um, and that means that it's portable so uh, if you are traveling maybe you're going to camp maybe you're going to stay with a relative maybe you're going to Florida on a vacation and you want to um, take your chill spot with you it's so easy to do it can easily go right into your car and go with you um, and the other great thing about this product is that it can be used inside as well as outside. So if you're uh, like me and you're somebody that could use the chill spot year round, you could use it inside. You can use it outside in the summertime. You're having a family barbecue. Uh, I know when I'm doing yard work, my dogs like to be outside with me. Um, and of course, it's going to be hot for them. So this will be really useful for us in the summertime. Um, and it's super light and easy to move around. So we can move it from inside to outside, no trouble at all. Um, um, another really great thing about this is that that cooling pack that you saw, if you freeze that overnight, it's going to be good for eight hours, uh, which I didn't believe. But even in our house at 70 degrees, it actually works for about 11 hours, um, and it's good outside. So if you use it outside in the summertime, I'm sure if it's hotter, if it's 85, 90 degrees outside, um, it's not going to quite last 11 hours, but you're still going to get at least eight hours out of it. So to me, that's unbelievable. 
um, we have just been, again, just astounded with this product. The ease of use, um, the versatility of it. It's so easy to use. It's so portable. Um, it, that's just amazing to us. The fact that it's large enough for a big dog. We have a chocolate lab and our boxer, Chloe, um, our boxer is about 60 pounds and Sadie's up to about 70 pounds now. They both lay on this no problem. Um, if you do a little bit of research, jump on the company's website, you can see uh, some more about this. And one of the things that they always mention that I found really interesting, um, and I know it happens in our house, uh, when it is warm outside or when it's warm in your home, you're going to notice that your dog's going to gravitate towards uh, a tile floor, a concrete floor, a laminate floor, something that's cooler. They're not going to go lay on the carpet. They're going to go where it's cool. And the other thing that you're going to notice is after 15 or 20 minutes, your dog's body heat is going to be warming up the floor underneath them. So he's going to get up and he's going to resituate himself and move to another spot on the floor. He doesn't have that issue with the chill spot. It's cold continuously. As I said, it's the this top piece is aluminum. It conducts the cold very well. And it's not going to warm up. Sorry. It's not going to warm up. Um, uh, because of your dog's body heat. So that is amazing. Um, and it's it lasts, like I said, up to eight hours longer if it's not quite as hot out. So um, I'm very impressed with this product. I really can't recommend it enough. Um, heat stroke is something that affects hundreds of thousands of dogs every year. Um, it affects dogs in the same way that it affects us. It can make your dog very sick um, if left untreated and your dog isn't moved to a cooler location and his body temperature isn't brought down. It can be fatal. It's a very serious thing. Um, and aside from that, even if your dog is just warm, how do you feel on a day where it's 85, 90 degrees, it's humid out and you're uncomfortable? In the heat, you're uncomfortable, you're sticky, you're gross. Dogs don't sweat the way that we do, but they're panting. They're still uncomfortable. Think about their body when they're panting. They're shaking, you know, their bodies. <sighs> so their body isn't still. They're constantly panting. They're uncomfortable. It's not fun for them to be hot any more than it's fun for us to be hot. Um, so that's something to think about. Even if your dog isn't at risk for heat stroke, um, it, it's a comfort thing. So um, I'm really impressed with this. I'm so glad that we have it for our dogs. Uh, we're actually considering buying a second one so each dog has their own. Uh, I, I just, I really can't say enough good things about the chill spot. However, as with any thing, there's always at least one drawback. The drawback with this is going to be the price. Now this product is certainly not a must have. Is it a great tool to have for your pet? Absolutely not a must have. So if it's not in your budget, that's absolutely understandable. Uh, the chill pod unit, uh, the chill spot unit itself is um, and it comes with one chill pod. You can buy additional chill pods for about $35. Um, that would be really convenient so that you wouldn't have to um, take this out and freeze it every night. You could just rotate them every day. You could have one always in the freezer, let this sit, it would sit overnight, and then in the morning you could just switch the two. Um, so that would be really nice if you're doing something like camping or something like that. You want to have a couple of chill pods to bring with you and, and leave in a cooler so that they'll stay frozen until you're ready to use them. Um, something like that would be, you could buy uh, numerous chill pods for your chill spot um, but the unit itself is about $200 which certainly isn't in everybody's budget um, if you can afford it I highly recommend it if you live in a hot um, climate if you live somewhere where your dog's outdoors a lot in the hot weather if your dog's outside in a kennel uh, during the day or something like that highly highly recommend this set aside $10 a week or uh, whatever you can afford and um, and budget that way if that's something uh, maybe that would work for you um, but regardless um, you know that's really the only downside to this product is the price but uh, other than that it's just absolutely amazing it has blown us away um, and again I see a lot of dog products so for me to say that um, truly an impressive product very well designed very well uh, made and and uh, just a, a very 
very unique, innovative product. So I'm extremely happy with the Chill Pod. I have two dogs that will vouch for the fact that they love the Chill Pod. Um, if you've used it, let us know. If you have any questions, feel free, leave a comment, ask us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, anything like that. I would be happy to answer it for you if I'm able to, uh, or find the answer for you if I can. So make sure you reach out if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I'd love to hear about it. If you've used a Chill Spot and you uh, have uh, any comments that you'd like to add to this review, please don't hesitate to leave um, a comment here under this article or um, again feel free to find us on social media. So um, check out the Chill Spot. You can find it on chillspot.com and uh, let me know what you think of the review. Thanks guys.